Is Ireland on your bucket list? If so, you may be wondering what time of year is best to visit. Hi, I'm Colette from Ireland on a Budget and today I'll be giving you the inside scoop on the best time of year to visit Ireland along with the things that you can do when you get there. If you're looking for more tips on how to get to Ireland on a budget, be sure to hit the subscribe button. When it comes to deciding when you should visit Ireland, it really depends on a few things. If you're on a budget visiting Ireland during the shoulder season, that is anywhere between mid-April and the month of May, as well as late September through October, is when you'll get better deals on airfare, accommodation and car rental. The changeable Irish weather may factor into your decision making. Generally speaking, the summer months are mild, but you can also get showers several times a day, so it's always a good idea to pack a light rain jacket. A real bonus if you choose to come to Ireland during the summer months is the incredible amount of daylight that you'll get. In fact, it rarely gets dark before 10.30pm during the summer months. That's great news if you want to do a lot of outdoor activities while you're in Ireland, such as walking and hiking. From October on, the days are getting shorter and the weather is noticeably chillier. Be prepared for damp weather if you decide to visit Ireland during the late fall and winter months. While it rarely snows heavily in Ireland during the winter months, when it does, the roads will be slippery and dangerous, so if you are renting a car, be cautious. Choosing when to visit Ireland will also depend on your individual interests. If you're interested in festivals, for example, you'll find that while there are plenty of them throughout the year in Ireland, the outdoor celebrations are the most fun. Some of the more notable ones include the St. Patrick's Day parades around the country, the Galway races, the Rosa Tralee, the matchmaking festival in Listerne-Varna, County Clare, the Galway Oyster Festival and the Puck Fair in Calorgan, County Kerry. If a wild Atlantic Way road trip is on the cards for you when you get to Ireland, the summer months are definitely the best time to do that. While it's impossible to do the entire route, which measures about 1500 miles from Mallonhead in County Donegal to Missenhead in Cork, doing a portion of it will still demand many hours of driving along the coastline and stopping off at your favourite places, so plenty of daylight is recommended. There are lots of heritage sites to visit around Ireland. You can visit these any time of year, but be aware that some of them are closed during the off season. So late spring, summer and early fall are probably the best times to see them. Golfing is a favorite activity for many visitors to Ireland and indeed some of them arrange their whole trip around that popular sport. Ireland is home to many fabulous golf courses. The best time to play on Ireland's golf courses is during the summer, but you can get a great game of golf in the spring and fall months also. If you are planning to golf in Ireland, be prepared for windy conditions, especially along the west and northwest of the country. Some of Ireland's most popular courses include the Royal Port Rush, which is in Northern Ireland, the Waterfall Golf Links in County Kerry, and the Port Marnock Golf Course outside Dublin. Whatever time of year you choose to visit Ireland, I have no doubt that you will have a fantastic time experiencing all that the Emerald Isle has to offer. Feel free to check out the links in the description box and don't forget to check out IrelandOnABudget.com and join the Facebook group Ireland Travel Planning Tips.